In labour markets, where is the wage equilibrium? It depends very much on the kind of market we're looking at. In a simple market where unions don't exist and there are many small buyers of labour, the diagram is very simple and it shows us that there is a supply of labour, there is a demand MRP curve of labour, and equilibrium is quite simply where demand equals supply, where wage is W1 and quantity employed is Q1. Here we have the employment axis, this is the price of labour, the wage rate axis. Okay, so wage rate is W1 and quantity employed Q1. Now what if this market became unionised? Some would say that that could cause unemployment. The unions would bargain a wage above W2, a supply curve would be drawn like this, and we would have a reduced quantity demanded and an increased quantity supplied, creating excess supply of labour, unemployment. We'll come back to the effects of unions soon. But first, let's consider what happens if there was a monopsonist buyer of labour, a single buyer of labour. This would create an upward sloping MC curve steeper than the supply curve of labour. Steeper because the marginal cost of employing another worker will be higher for the monopsonist because it isn't just a case of raising the wage for the extra worker. Previous workers have to also be given a wage increase, so the cost of employing an extra worker is greater than their wage. The new equilibrium point is here. Because no workers beyond Q2 will be employed since the cost of employing them would exceed the extra revenue they produce for the firm. So, employment has fallen from Q1 to Q2. What wage will these workers be paid? The supply curve tells us that to attract OQ2 workers into the market, a wage rate of just W2 should be offered. So the presence of a monopsonist reduces employment and reduces wage rates. Now, what if this labour force became unionised? Oh, it was like on the spot. <laughs> now, what if this workforce were unionised? Well, the union can actually increase wages and increase employment, not cause unemployment, if the market is a monopsonist market. How does it happen? The union bid a wage rate above W2. Let's call it WU. This is the union negotiated wage rate. There is now a new supply curve of labour. No labour will be employed below wage rate WU, and the new supply curve of labour will look like this. This leads to the creation of a very unusual MC curve, shaped like this. Why is it this shape? Well, as far as here, the marginal cost of employing another worker is simply one more wage, WU. Therefore, the MC curve sits on top of the supply curve. Beyond this point, we revert to the old MC and S curves because beyond this point, not even WU is going to satisfy or, or, or encourage any new workers into the industry. Progressively higher salaries are needed and therefore higher and higher um, marginal costs are, are required in the market. Now where is the equilibrium point? Here. Because at Q3, and up to Q3, it's still worth employing labour. Beyond Q3 it isn't, because beyond Q3 is the first point at which MC is greater than MRP. Hence, until OQ3 will now be employed at a higher wage rate, WU. So the presence of a trade union in a market where there is a monopsonist buyer can actually improve employment prospects for workers and raise the wage rate. Thank you.